Hello everyone! Today we're going to make a crispy potato rings. First, let's cut our potatoes. Ayan, nakita niyo na po. Kanya ng hiwa. I-cubes lang po natin siya. Then after this, we're going to wash this. And then in a casserole, magpakulo tayo ng tubig. Pour some water and add the potatoes. Add 1 half teaspoon of salt. So while waiting for our potatoes to cook, or maybe wait for 8 to 10 minutes, now we slice some spring onions. Ayan, we slice po tayo. And then, this is for later use, so let this set aside again. So now we're going to check if the potatoes are cooked already. Uh, it's done, so let's strain these potatoes. If you have a cooking ware like this, flat one, you can put these potatoes or just a, just a bowl. It's okay. And then now we're going to mash all the potatoes. Yeah, mash lang na mash ang sa maturok ang potatoes. Huwag lang ang ating puso. Char. Ayan, may hugot pa. So, mash lang ng mash hanggang sa maturo. The written recipe is on the description box below. You can check it out if you want to try this recipe. So, after this, I'm going to use the spatula. Uh, para ma, yung mga buhu pang patatas is maturo. Mamash talaga siya ng maayos. Ayan. So, after natin mamash ito, uh, let this aside first. Let it cool for a while. Ayan, in the pan. Let add some unsalted butter, 25 grams of unsalted butter, and then 2 to 3 tablespoons of minced garlic. Saute the garlic. And then add one half teaspoon of salt. If you use the salted butter, uh, just emit the salt. But I use the unsalted butter, so I just add the salt. And then add some water, 100 ml of water, uh, one fourth cup. And then add also the our flour. Ayan. 40 grams of flour. So, I mix lang po natin. Just mix it until we came to a paste like this. And now, we're ready to add our mashed potatoes. Yeah, just stir it. Stir lang ng stir. Halo ng halo. Hanggang sa... Nakikita nyo yung consistency niya is uh, para na siyang dough. Ayan. Yung hindi na siya nag-iwaiwalay. Maybe stir this for about 8 to 10 minutes. Yeah, like that. And then, transfer it natin. We transfer into the cooking ware again. And let it cool. That is the important tips for this recipe. You need to let it cool first before adding the corn flour and the spring onion. Yeah. Kasi ako nagmamadali. Kasi we're running out of time, so mainit pa siya, hinalo ko na yung cornstarch, kaya medyo basa-basa siya. The important thing is let it cool first before adding the corn flour and the spring onion. Yeah, let's give it a mix until uh, the consistency is like a dough. So now, let's roll the potato dough. 
as you can see, masyado siyang sticky. So, I add some uh, flour sa rolling pin. That's why it's very important na let cool muna natin yung ating uh, potato dough before adding the corn flour. Para hindi siya sticky. But, with the help of the flour, ayan, medyo okay-okay na siya. So, ngayon, let's cut our potato dough using the cookie cutter. If you don't have the cookie cutter, uh, you can use the glass, the basso, to cut the potato dough. And I also use the piping nozzle to cut up the center, as you can see. After kumakat yung ating potato dough, i-roll ko ulit yung mga remaining na potato dough. So now, let's heat some oil and fry our potato rings. It took about 5 minutes to cook this potato rings, both sides, in a medium-high heat. both sides and then this is the cook potato ribs let's strain this until it's go down so now let's drizzle some garlic cheese sauce on top and also drizzle some ketchup Our crispy potato rings. So now our tasting test. As you can see, it's so crunchy and it's so addictive. Also. I can eat all of that in one sitting. So yummy! You should try this. presentation thank you all thanks for watching